Hi, so in this video, let us continue with the line coding schemes. So in this video, we will study bipolar line coding schemes and under bipolar, there are two types that is AMI and pseudo ternary. So as discussed in the previous videos, we know that there are five line coding schemes that is unipolar, polar, bipolar, multi-level and multi-transition. The first two we have already discussed in the previous videos. So in this video, let us study bipolar line coding scheme. So under bipolar, there are two types that is AMI and pseudo ternary. So first let us discuss AMI. So AMI stands for alternate mark inversion and in this bit zero is represented as zero voltage. That is a bit zero will be represented on this reference line. And the bit 1 is represented as alternating positive and negative voltages. That is if the previous one value was positive, then the next one value will be negative. Similarly, if previous one value is negative, then the next one value will be positive. Now say for example, we are given the data as 100, 11100 and we need to convert it into a digital signal using AMI line coding. Now the first bit is 1. And 1 meaning alternating positive and negative voltages. Now since this is the first bit, we may either start from the positive side or from the negative side. Now over here we are assuming positive logic. So we will start from the positive side. The next bit is 0. So 0 meaning a 0 voltage. So it will be on this reference line. Again next bit is 0. So again on this reference line because it is 0 voltage. The next bit is 1. And for 1, we know that it is alternating positive and negative voltages. Now the previous one value was positive. So this one value will be negative. Then again we have a 1. So over here the previous one value was negative. So this one value will be positive. Because it is alternating positive and negative voltages. Then again we have a 1. So over here the previous one value was positive. So this one value will be negative. The next bit is 0. So for 0, it is 0 voltage that is on this reference line. And then again we have a 0. So again, it will be 0 voltage. And since it is a digital signal, we will have to connect this line. That is this one, or this one, this, this and this line. So after connecting, we will get this digital signal. That is, this is the digital signal for this digital data using AMI line coding. Let us consider another example. Now say suppose the data given is 00101110 and we need to convert it into a digital signal using AMI line coding. So we know that if the bit is 0, it will be represented as 0 voltage and if the bit is 1, it will be alternating positive and negative voltages. The first bit is 0, so it will be represented as 0 voltage that is on this line. Then again next bit is 0, so again it will be represented as 0 voltage. The next bit is 1. Now for 1 we use alternating positive and negative voltages. And since this is the first one in the sequence, we will assume it to be positive. The next bit is 0, so for 0 it will be 0 voltages. The next bit is 1. So for 1, it will be alternating positive and negative voltages. And since the previous one value is positive, this one value will be negative. Next bit is 1. And since the previous one value was negative, this one will be represented as positive. Next bit is 1 again. And since the previous one value was represented as positive, this one value will be represented as negative. And the next bit is 0, 0 meaning 0 voltage that is on this reference line. And since it is a digital signal, we will have to connect these lines. So after connecting, we will get this digital signal. See, we may connect the lines before while drawing the signal itself or we may connect it later on. So this is the digital signal for this digital data using AMI. See, sometimes it is also known as BAMI that is bipolar AMI. So we know that bipolar has two types that is AMI and pseudo ternary. 
We have studied AMI. Now let us study pseudo ternary. So pseudo ternary just the opposite of AMI. That is for zero, it will be alternating positive and negative voltages. That is, if the previous zero bit is positive, then the next zero bit will be negative. Similarly, if the previous zero bit is negative, then the next zero bit will be positive. And for one, it will be zero voltage. That is on this line. So, say for example, we are given the data as one zero zero one 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 zero zero, and we need to convert it into a digital signal using pseudo ternary. So, the first bit is one, and we know that one is zero voltage, so it will be on this reference line. The next bit is zero. Now, for zero, we have alternating positive and negative voltages, and since this is the first zero in this sequence. Let us assume positive logic and consider this to be positive voltage. Next bit is zero, and since the previous zero value was positive, this will be negative. The next bit is one, one meaning zero voltage, so it will be on this reference line. Again, we have a one, so again on this line because it is zero voltage. Then again, we have another one, so again on this line because it is zero voltage. Now the next bit is zero. Now the previous zero value was negative, so this bit will have a positive value. Then the last bit is zero, and the previous bit value, that is previous zero value, was positive, so this value will be negative. And since it is a digital signal, we will have to connect these lines. So after connecting, we will get this digital signal. That is, this is the digital signal for this digital data using pseudo ternary. Let us consider another example. So suppose the given data is zero one zero zero one zero, and we need to convert it into a digital signal using pseudo ternary. So the first bit is zero, and we know that for zero it is alternating positive and negative voltages. And since this is the first zero in the sequence, let us assume positive logic and represent this as positive voltage. Next bit is one, one meaning it will be zero voltage. That is on this reference line. Next bit is zero. Now the previous zero value was represented as positive. So that means this bit value will be represented as negative. Then again we have a zero. Now the previous zero bit value was represented as negative. So this bit value will be represented as positive because it is alternating positive and negative voltages. Next bit is one. Now one meaning zero voltage, so it will be represented on this reference line. And the next bit is zero. And since the previous zero bit value was positive, this bit value will be represented as negative. And since it is a digital signal, we will connect these lines. So after connecting, we will get this digital signal. So this is the digital signal for this digital data using pseudo ternary line encoding. So let us do a brief revision of what we have discussed in this video. So in this video, we have discussed bipolar line coding scheme. So under bipolar, we have two types that is AMI and pseudo ternary. In AMI, a bit zero will be represented as zero voltage, and a bit one will be alternating positive and negative voltages. Whereas in pseudo ternary, it will be just the opposite of AMI. That is, a bit zero will be alternating positive and negative voltages, and a bit one will be at zero voltage. 